All right, for our three licks that we could use over this, um, one thing I want to talk about is targeting uh, chord tones. So this can always be a great way to kind of tie things together. It's a very simple idea, but it's very effective. So if I'm playing over a D, um, pick a chord tone. In this case, uh, let's say the root. I'm going to go out of my way to try to target roots. Very simple, easy, easy thing to do. So if I'm over a D, I'm going to try to target D. If I'm over a B minor, I'll try to target a B minor. G, G, A, A. Okay, you get the idea. So let me show you an example of that. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, so you notice between that D and B, I had a phrase that really landed on that D, and kind of took a breath, left some space. Play the D again, down an octave, left some space. Resolve to a B over the B minor, left some space. Left some space. So you could keep changing up the octave, and you should definitely keep changing up how you get in and out of it, um, because all those little variations are going to keep it interesting. Um, but what happens when you do something like that, it just creates like a nice through line to the solo, and it might seem simple to you, but to a listener that doesn't sound simple, they don't know, oh, he's always hitting the roots. Uh, they don't hear it like that. A listener doesn't notice those things. A listener just sounds like all this goes together. There's some kind of through line here. Um, so really easy thing to help create like really good phrasing and have your solos kind of make sense together. Um, all right. Second thing that you could do is you could use double stops. And you could do this, you know, within the pentatonic scale, which I really like. Um, and we could do this by embellishing these double stops with hammer-ons. So, you know, here's the top two notes of my D pentatonic scale. If I go down two strings. If I go down again. So all the very kind of like Hendrixy type um, double stop embellishments. Okay, all that stuff is going to sound nice and will help make it sound a little soulful. Um, the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to talk about a compositional device um, called call and response. And this is a great way to kind of help tighten up your, your um, phrasing um, so you feel like you have two complete ideas that complement each other. And one of the like, best, most elementary examples of this is if you listen to this, like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, um, you have question answer kind of phrasing, da 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 right? Um, it's a perfect little question answer melody. Um, which makes sense because it was written by Mozart, so he kind of knows what he was doing. Um, so call and answer could happen with leaving a space and leaving a phrase kind of hanging and then answering it uh, with another short phrase. Or in this context, what I'll be trying to do in these solos is do call and response or call and answer um, with octaves. So playing an idea in one octave answering in a different octave, and that's going to kind of create this conversation between two voices. So I'll give you an example of that. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, so taking the same idea, changing the octave, sometimes I'll do a little variation, but it should sound like an echo of the original idea. Um, again, anytime you have solos like this where you have a lot of space and a lot of openness, um, you don't want to sound too much like you're just ripping blues licks over top of everything or having uh, run-on sentence music uh, musically. 
um, you want to you want it to feel kind of composed and you want it to feel like another musical moment in the song, not necessarily like a feature for guitar. Um, it needs to be something that sounds very musical. So by taking some of these ideas and folding them in, it's going to feel like that and it's going to feel like a part of the tune and a musical moment within the tune rather than a feature for a soloist. And that's important. Um, cool. So let's uh, bring up a track and... Create some solos. <laughs> 